A Christmas tradition is costing you more. People harvesting a real tree are being hit with higher prices. Rebecca Clough explains what is behind the increase. For many families, it just wouldn't be Christmas without a real tree, but a combination of factors are driving up the prices. Oh, Tannenbaum. I always buy a live Christmas tree. Oh, Tannenbaum. On Christmas morning, it's, it's really magical. Although the tree might be magic, some people are noticing the prices this year are not. There are some out there, they were like $90. We just kept scrolling because <laughs> that's just too much for us. In the last four years, the National Christmas Tree Association says the cost of trees has gone up. In 2015, the average price for a real tree was $50. By 2018, the average price jumped to 78. This year, the projected average price should be over 80 bucks. A big reason, according to ideal Christmas tree owner Rick Dassow, nationally there's a shortage. 10 and 15 years ago, there was a reluctance of planting new stock because of the, the boom in artificial trees. The slowdown hit its peak in 2008, the same time the recession hit. Now, when those trees would be mature, more people are demanding real trees, especially the younger generation. Millennials are actually bringing back the tradition of natural trees. Uh, they want to start their own tradition. Many tree lots around the area, including Rick's, say they're taking on most of the costs from the shortage. So the prices are only going up around five to ten dollars a tree. Families say they're making do. It is absolutely a tradition. Yeah, we paid it anyways. If you are looking to save a little money and still want to go with a live tree, Rick suggests you choose a balsam. It actually smells more fragrant, but it's cheaper than a Fraser. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4.